So, ladies and gentlemen, um, welcome to the live session RACO, Variability and Serviceability of Full Nozzle Safety Relief Valves according to API 5 to 6. So, we hope you will enjoy this uh, live session and please feel free to ask questions um, either through the, through the um, chat here, uh, the Zoom chat, or afterwards uh, through the ARI um, homepage or directly on the Akima Pulse uh, platform. So we means um, myself, introduce myself first. My name is uh, Tim, Tim Wallace from Aria Amaturn. I'm responsible for certain trainings at Aria Amaturn, um, product trainings and application trainings as well. And um, yeah, we would like to entertain you together. Or I would like to entertain you together with my colleague, Michael. Hello. I'm Michael Gödeke and I'm the product manager for our safety relief valves according API 5.26. Yeah, so Michael, so then uh, let us know some uh, specifics about this uh, full nozzle safety relief valve. Yes, yeah, this uh, design of uh, our RECO valve is the obvious um, 5.20 uh, design uh, out of the um, API standard. The, the obvious is the 526 uh, design, you, can, uh, you will also find in the API standard and um, yeah, this worth has a very long history of um, around about 100 years. Around right about 100 years, so means uh, uh, talking about the 526 design and this, is, um, this world has such a long history, so does it mean that this is more or less a prototype of the uh, 526 design? Yeah, of course. If um, we compare the um, image in the uh, API standard with our current um, wealth, then we will see several um, uh, tweaks which, uh, which are made, like the cap design or um, the disk holder, also um, the um, design of the nozzle has changed uh, from bottom threaded to top threaded. Um, but uh, the main parts or the, um, yeah, the, the main advantages of this valve uh, have retained because uh, of the robustness and reliability. Fair enough. So um, yeah, l then let's talk about the benefits and, uh, and uh, um, the specific of the design of this valve, please, Michael. Of course. One of the uh, greatest benefits of this valve are uh, the radial bearings between all uh, of the connection points inside this valve. Mm -hmm. um, beginning here uh, on top with, uh, with the adjusting screw down to uh, the connection between the uh, upper stem and the lower stem and also uh, the stem here down uh, to the disc holder. Everywhere we have radial bearings which mm -hmm. assures the level out of any manufacturing tolerances and also any reseating tolerances of the disc. So means uh, this is uh, this is more or less split stem. So because you talked about the radial bearings, right? Uh, we have here a split stem design, mm -hmm. and this split sp uh, stem design has also several advantages. One of the uh, most interesting uh, advantages is that um, if we are setting up the valve here, mm -hmm. the forces or moments. Uh, will not be transferred down to the um, nozzle and um, disc surface. Mm -hmm. Means if we are adjusting here the valve, no rotation mm -hmm. um, on this on these surfaces, mm -hmm. um, and uh, therefore no damages on the surfaces uh, either. Oh okay, so you've you've got several wrenches here. So um, can you can you show us uh, um, and um, yeah a part of an adjustment. Um, of the of the setting of the spring here. Yeah, of course. Okay. Let's remove the cap, and then we can um, okay. have a look on the yeah, adjustment and the movement. Okay. So ah, yeah. Let's um, do here uh, a marking on the lower. Ah, yeah, um, that's helpful. Yeah. Spring step. Yeah. Yeah, and also here. Uh, on the disc holder. Yeah, disc holder. So, and um, now when we are adjusting uh, the spring, we will see uh, here movement um, on the 
uh, on the disc holder. So you do the so adjusting, the setting? No. Ah, yeah, when yeah. I'm here adjusting, you can see um, here a movement on the uh, uh, spring step. Yeah, this, yeah. Pa this part of the stem is moving. Right. But down there, the disc holder, uh, oh. we have no direct connection, yeah, yeah. so no movement, uh, no movement of the disc holder. Yeah. Stable position. Right. Great. Right. So, okay. So we have no damage uh, on the uh, surfaces, and through this simple design, we have uh, yeah, we are raising the robustness and also the, the reliability uh, of the swell. Yeah, you talked about um, reliability and uh, the robust design. So, but um, come on, let us let us know the secret behind this uh, behind this uh, reliability and uh, ro robust design of the well. Yeah, um, we have seen here several uh, other small design advantages. Now we uh, uh, on the top. Now we are looking here um, on the bottom of the valve, mm -hmm. and you see here the nozzle, mm -hmm. and the nozzle of uh, the API valves protects always the um, body material against um, the medium, which is here inside the nozzle, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this nozzle. Um, is at least out of 316 uh, L stainless steel, mm -hmm. um, which just a very good protection in standard. But in um, um, for other applications like um, seawater or um, in on offshore applications, mm -hmm. yep. uh, oil and gas, uh, for example, mm -hmm. we have um, a lot of more uh, very harmful media, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. cause um, uh, corrosion. And to avoid corrosion in the nozzle, mm -hmm. you can also have uh, the, um, it with higher graded material like Inconel, Hasseloy, Monel, and uh, nearly every other material which is on the market. So we have for every process, we have the right material. Ah, means so for, for aggressive media, for example, um, the contact points um, for the aggressive media is only here inside of the nozzle and uh, to, th to the disc for sure. Yeah, right. So yeah, the uh, media is um, uh, trapped here inside the nozzle and the disc as long as the set pressure is not reached. Oh, OK, that's perfect. So this is protection of the, of the body material. Right. Oh, OK, for sure. So um, I see you've got some single parts over there. Um, is this, is this looks like a nozzle, right? Right, this is um, the nozzle, which um, yeah, we you can see here inside the body and um, what about this 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 ring on top here of the nozzle what is it for <coughs> yeah the ring here on top of the nozzle uh, can be used to adjust the blowdown of uh, this type oh of valve okay. standard steam and gas uh, safety relief valves have a blowdown of 10 percent to reduce now this uh, blowdown we can adjust um, uh, it here directly through this uh, adjusting ring mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can say raising the ring is uh, to raise the blowdown. Lowering the ring means to lower also but the blowdown. Uh, but what we do a presetting of this of this uh, of this uh, adjusting ring here, right? Yeah, right. We are doing uh, a preset in the manufacturing um, of the of these valves. So uh, every rack valve has a blowdown of between seven and ten percent. Oh, okay. uh, but the final setting on 7% needs to be done directly on the uh, system mm -hmm. uh, because the blowdown is also, is also influenced by um, the back pressure, for example. And uh, yeah, this is something um, we can't simulate in the manufacturing. Yeah, but then the nozzle is inside and uh, we've got a closed body. But uh, where can I, can I do the adjusting afterwards in the line uh, from outside? Therefore, we have here the retaining screw, which can be yeah, screwed let out. Let us move a bit. Right, and uh, yeah, through this hole in the body, uh, you can uh, change the adjustment. And after um, you are finished, you can then put the screw again in. Oh, that's easy. And yeah, it's then fixed again. Oh, that's very easy. Right. Yeah, back to the nozzle, I've seen 
this is a co connection, a thread connection here for the adjusting ring, and um, we've got a second thread connection here. As, as long as I see, this is uh, for the assembling inside of the inside of the body, isn't it? Right. We have a top threaded uh, nozzle design. Yeah, it's on top. Yeah. Right. So. Um, this means that uh, we don't have any gap between body and nozzle mm -hmm. yeah, because of the thread here on top. And um, yeah, th um, if we are comparing bottom threaded design, then we would have this gap you can see here between body and nozzle up uh, to the top. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this gap um, uh, would be a, a problem in regards to corrosion and sedimentation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, through this gap, uh, the sedimentation it would be very difficult to remove uh, the nozzle again mm -hmm. in case of a service. Um, this is one th thing. The, the second um, part is if you have a top uh, threaded design, then you can uh, drain your wells directly here in the bowl yeah, through this uh, drainage point here. Mm -hmm. and. Um, if you are, uh, have a bottom threaded design, then you need always to drain here on the lowest point directly on the inlet. Yeah? Mm -hmm. In worst case, you have here the bolts um, of the flange, mm -hmm. which are uh, in the way of, of your drainage, and it's very complicated then to yeah. drain the body. Yeah. Yeah, with this design, it's very easy. Oh, that, that, that sounds very 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 nice because there is no dirt and waste here inside of a yeah let's call it a pocket something like this so it's always free of dirt and waste here this pocket hey right. perfect so we talk about the the specific design here a splitted stem and the EV adjustment so but um, very often uh, you know better than, than than all the others so that we have to handle the wealth has to handle and has to operate against back pressure situations do we have an answer to compromised back pressure situations? Yeah, we have the um, inconel bellows uh, to compensate uh, back pressures um, here on, on the outlet, fro uh, coming from the outlet. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we are using the inconel 625 uh, material, mm -hmm. um, which, is, uh, which has a very high corrosion resistance against a high variation of media. Um, yeah, and besides of its um, chemical properties, it has, it has also very good mechanical properties. Mm -hmm. um, we can compensate up to 50% uh, of the set pressure as back pressure. Okay, 50%. But um, yeah, so then means um, if I figure out, so afterwards in the, in the field, so that I have to compromise uh, a certain back pressure, so means then I have to call you and have to order a new wealth. No, if uh, you bought the wealth uh, without any um, uh, bellows, mm -hmm. then um, it is easily possible to um, get a bellow afterwards and ah. to screw it directly on uh, the disc holder. So, yeah. so this means that uh, this thread connection for the bellows is um, is 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 done um, on each disc holder. Yeah, right. Every disc holder has always um, such a thread connection, and so we are. It is always possible to um, get a bellow afterwards. So just we have just to remove the upper part, and then we can assemble. Right. Yeah. We, we can assemble or, or fix fix uh, the bellows just by thread the bellows here on the on the disc holder. Right. The disc holder, Michael, is the disc holder as well um, a lifting aid? Yeah, the, in the, uh, the disc holder here, uh, as here is a lifting aid, yeah, as every safety well uh, yeah, needs a lifting aid. About this, yeah. um, but uh, the a nice um, benefit of this disc holder is mm -hmm. that um, it's a detachable lifting aid. How easy! So. Um, yeah, for the small sizes, it's yeah. easy. So, right, and um, yeah, so we can easily remove the disc and um, if needed, uh, it can be relapsed after maybe five or 10 years in service, it's sometimes um, needed. But with Reco, um, the customers get always a spare part for free because uh, here we can 
you can see both sides are equal uh, and if the one side ah. was five or ten years in service it's possible to use the other side uh, let's say you have then a fresh new spare part for free so this is a um, pre-lapping is done um, before we deliver the wealth so means we can use both sides after a certain time so then we just yeah. change the position of the of the of the disk and then we can can operate it here that's perfect right. for offshore application isn't it yeah because for, for if you're looking for spares absolutely it's uh, for uh, offshore applications and everywhere else where it's difficult to get uh, in a short time spare parts it is perfect to know that you don't need every um, spare part to um, wow. yeah, to get delivered yeah now you 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 um, gave us a lot of benefits about this uh, um, specific design of um, of the Reiko safety world but um, when uh, when the service inspector is uh, wants to do a service on the world um, does he need uh, certain tools or certain wrenches I've, I've seen here only one two three four five seven wrenches here on the table Right, in case of the service, it is not needed to have special um, uh, tools. Uh, and most of the times, the customer needs only five of these seven branches to disassemble the complete um, wealth and also to assemble it again. Sounds very easy. So, um, can we do a disassembling of the wealth here right yeah, now? Of course, let's do it. Okay. First of all, uh, we remove here the um, counter nuts and the um, disc for the lifting fork mm -hmm. and then we need to um, uh, loose here the adjusting screw yeah release the pressure down from the string right right yeah okay oh yeah, again here you can see the movement here right the, uh, the mark and but here down there is still no stable movement. position. Fair enough. So now the adjusting screw is also removed together with the counter nut. Easy. Yeah, and now we can uh, remove the bonnet from the web. Here um, you would use also the 22. Uh, wrench, okay. but we prepared this a bit. Yeah. So. Perfect. Okay. Then carefully removing the bonnet. The bonnet, yeah. Yeah, and uh, here and we now? see the uh, top stem units together with the spring steps and the inconel spring, oh. and. Here we can see also the radial bearings of uh, the upper spring uh, stem and also from the lower stem. Let me see, please. That's fantastic. So this is a split stem design. Right. Perfect. And now? Now we can here remove first for the gaskets and then the lower stem unit. Here's already a bearing, and here it's the same unit as we yeah, disassembled yeah. Yeah. here. Yeah, and now 80% of the wealth is disassembled. We can uh, here lose the retaining uh, screw for the um, uh, adjusting ring. Yeah. Uh, the adjusting ring can also be removed. Yeah, here from the top, yeah. Easily. <coughs> or here from the side now. Yeah, yeah and uh, yeah, the uh, nozzle is left, but uh, so far we are done with the disassembling. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the customer um, wants to uh, assemble the web again, then you would need only to do all the steps we did, mm -hmm. but the other way around. And yeah, as you have seen, we have used only three of these branches, and uh, yeah, it was an easy story. Okay, uh, this was um, our session today about uh, Reiko, the variability and um, serviceability of the full nozzle safety weld. And uh, we hope you enjoyed our session and now please feel free um, for um, and let us know your questions either through the um, chat here or later on um, through um, directly through REM21 or 
uh, through the uh, Akima Pulse platform. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Bye bye.